So I decided to come to Montgomery Bell State Park today, do some hiking, get outside, get a little exercise. There's some kind of trail run going on today. I think it's the Bell Ringer. I've uh, seen some people running the trails. They got them marked. I was hoping to have a little bit more seclusion out here today, but that's okay. Uh, never been on this particular section of this trail. The whole thing's only 12 miles all the way around the park, but we're gonna see what we can see today. I already saw something interesting as I was leaving our house coming down the hill. Driving down the hill, I saw a hawk swooping down out of a tree and a dive bomb on the left side of the road. And he landed on, I didn't see the turkey. He landed on top of the turkey and got a turkey. And then there was feathers and wings and stuff flopping around everywhere. But that it was a huge hawk. He got him a good meal. I've never seen anything like that before. It was pretty crazy. So I'm splitting off from the main trail, which is where they're running this trail. It said Woodland Shelter back there. I think, I'm pretty sure this goes back to the shelter besides, that is beside Hall Springs, which that's where I wanted to go anyway. So maybe this is the right way. There's really not much of a trail here. I hope this is it. Doesn't look like very many people have walked this since all the leaves have fallen. I don't know if you can really see that on camera or not. A little armadillo. I think I'm wrong. I think this does not go to Hall Springs. This goes back to, it's, like it said, the Woodland Shelter. It's, it's just a, that's a shelter that I have not been to. I've been to the other two. There's three on this property. So when we get there, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I can just see the top of the shelter right there. Maybe there's nobody there. I can do a little filming. You can't camp. You can. You have to reserve these shelters. I don't know if it costs anything. I can't remember, but you have to reserve them, and you can 
stay the night in them. I've never stayed in one. I wanted to. Oh, I see a little. Let's go look at this deer rug right here. building is over there. Oh, it's an outhouse. I don't think the other shelters have outhouses. Cedar. I don't think anybody's been to this shelter in a while. This uh, this bench has seen its better days. You go woodland shelter. You can see that's just a classic kind of trail shelter, three sided. I guess you could hang a hammock under here. It wouldn't be so bad. Or pad and sleeping pad there. Build you a little fire, it's not a bad view. It's pretty, pretty little valley right here. With the little creek that we jumped across earlier down there. Now this looks like a trail. I don't know if it goes anywhere, if it just goes down to the water. Let's see. like a spring coming out of the ground right here. Probably some good water. There's a really big spring over at Hall Spring. They've built a really big uh, wall like this around it. If we get there today, I'll film that. It's pretty impressive. Alright, so I'm going to go back out the, of this spur the way I came in, back to the main trail, and then go around to Hall Springs. Or, as some people call it around here, Werewolf Springs. But that's another story. Just noticing this old uh, cedar tree broken right there. It's been down a long time, but... It's Pretty big. Broken there, not uprooted from the, from the ground. Don't see anything that would have broken it that way. 
Ophers out like that. Curious. All right, we've made it back to the main trail, so gonna take a left and head to Hall Springs. Okay, so you can see the woodland tra uh, woodland shelter and the little waterfall there in the creek from the main trail. I'm back on the trail with the trail runners. Just had a couple pass me. I like trail running, but I don't know if my knees could handle that at this point. I would like to build them up strong enough to maybe do some hardcore hiking one of these days. This is about the steepest hill section in the park, as far as I know. Holy crap, 50K. We're going this way. You doing the whole 50? I am. Woo. Yep, and I'm on the second lap, so I was like, Good, good luck. goes to the I believe this goes to Hall Springs. I'm gonna check my map real quick.
So that, I think it wraps around back to the lake over there. But I'm not sure where that little trail goes, if anywhere. I think it goes to the same place that one goes, back around there. Yeah, so here's the back corner of the lake. There used to be a log going across the that little creek right there. Because I used to park up there at the boat ramp, come down a trail on the other side, and walk across the creek right there to get to this trail. But it's not there anymore. Here on this little point right here, I've caught a fair amount of fish, bass on this little point right here. Uh, oh, that bench is new. That wasn't here last time I was here. But, uh, yeah, sorry for filming this in portrait, but uh, I thought that I was just going to make a Instagram reel when I started. Then I decided to do a whole video. There's some people over there fishing off the little dock. I don't know if that was a turtle or what. I didn't see it. Water's down low. I can see under the water right there. Let's keep going. I think it's about a 50 or 60% chance of rain today. I might get wet before I get back to the Jeep. It'll be okay. I don't have nothing to do today. I was just trying to get out of the house because my wife is sleeping. She's got to work tonight. So I was just trying to get out and get some exercise. Cause let's face it, I, I need it. I'm old and I don't want to die, so I need to get my heart going. Stay strong, strong like bull. I don't get enough exercise at work, so here I am out of here. Water break. I thought I was gonna make it all the way to the shelter before I stopped and got water, but I didn't. All of this water, I believe, comes out of that spring, that Hall Springs. It's a tremendous amount of water. I may be wrong, but I don't think I am. Let's we'll see when we get there.
Now I may be wrong about all of that coming from the spring because look, that looks like another creek coming into it right there. So don't hold me to that. Okay, you can just see the top of Hall Spring shelter right there. Maybe they've got some trail, trail run personnel set up down here at this shelter since the trail goes right by this one. I don't know. Like they've cleaned a lot of this underbrush and small trees out from around. This. Oh, this has been rebuilt. Yeah, this is a new shelter. It was like like the other one built out of the old logs and stuff. Still people are, can't help but putting graffiti on everything. It's a shame. A little fire ring and a grill right there. I love those grills. Another look at the map. We are here. Now, something interesting. There's another uh, trail up here, and it goes up to Hall Cemetery. We may uh, walk up there and look. I'm trying to look at my. You know, I've been trying to look at the weather app to see if there's a storm coming in. Because I don't mind a little. Uh, rain but I don't want to get caught in a storm because it's like at least an hour hike back to my truck anywhere here's the hall spring so I'm going to try to get video of this brick wall see this right here you can see where it's bubbling up out of the ground right there I guess that's the source of the spring right there see across on the other side of Milwaukee Ranch Coaster, but see this, those bricks going all the way around it? Yeah. That's it. I think since I'm not sure what the weather is going to do, I'm going to head back. It's going to be a pretty good uh, little trek for the first day hiking. Coming back, it's the first time I've hiked in a long time. Probably the last time I hiked was probably on this channel. I don't even know when it was. So I'm going to make our way back. Maybe there'll be something interesting to film on the way. All right, it's 20 to 12. We're gonna see how long it takes me to hike back out to the Jeep. So yeah, a good day to get out. Enjoy the outdoors. Get some exercise. I'm sure I'll be hurting tomorrow. But heck, I might come back and do it again tomorrow, who knows.
this is where we were earlier with the splits. I came from that way. I want to see where this goes real quick. It may be a shortcut. It may just be a game trail. I'm not sure. Feeling adventurous today. Yeah. It went nowhere. So, gotta go back up. I'm starting to feel a few raindrops. I don't know if we're going to cut across right here. I don't know if this is coming out of the trees or if it's really starting to rain. All right, I'm putting my phone down. I'm climbing up this. All right, I'm back on trail. And it is starting to rain. So hopefully it don't rain too much before we make it back. So we made it back out. Nothing exciting happened except getting rained on and getting wet. I passed a few more trail runners and a family that was out hiking in the rain. And uh, that was it. We made it back to the road. It is 1220. Was that 40 minutes from Hall Springs out to the road? There's the Jeep. So I'm just going to walk over here, fire her up. Okay, that was fun. Whew, I have to see what my miles were. I took a screenshot of my step app before I started. And I'll take one now when I turn this off. And then I'll put the, uh, I'll put the uh, mileage on here right here. Bam. See the magic of beginner grade uh, editing. Um, next time I come, this is on the south end of the park. So next time I come where that trail is or over there instead of going that way the way we went the trail goes across the road and goes back across to another lake over there around another lake i've never been on that section so the next time i come i'm gonna do that section so let me know if you like this uh comment down below share like subscribe do all the things i uh, hope you enjoyed it as much as i did maybe you get out and if you're interested if you watch it this long most people don't watch a video this long but if you're interested in Montgomery Bell and the trail, maybe this will uh, educate you a little bit more and you'll want to come out and check it out. All right, thanks for watching.